I am Minu and we are doing full Pearl book explanation in this channel. We are providing here a question and answers, think and answers, worksheet, back exercise of all the subjects like English, Maths, SST, Science, everything you will get from this channel. So if you are new in our schedule, then please subscribe the channel so that uh, you don't have to wander here and there for anything. So don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. So students, today we are discussing here class 4 science animals living and surviving worksheet number 2. Yes, here a part is fill in the blanks. First one is animals that live in water are called dash animals. Animals that live in water are called aquatic animals. Second one is the process of changing to suit the surroundings is called that is called adaptation. Number three, monkeys and opossums are dash animals that are arboreal animals. Number four, fish and crabs have dash to breathe in water. Fish and crabs have gills to breathe in water. Number five is animals that eat both plants and animals are called dash animals. Animals that eat both plant and flesh are called omnivorous. Now B part is give two examples of the following. First one is these animals have light bones and feathers. The shape of their body helps them to fly. These two animals are swallow and bat. Okay. Now second one is these animals have well developed tearing teeth. These animals are lions, tigers. Yes. Third one is these animals have suckers to suck blood from their hosts. Okay. These animals are bugs, mosquitoes, leeches. Fourth one is these animals have stripes on their body that help them to merge with their surroundings. These animals are zebra, tigers. Or we can say leopard. Now C part. Question number one is what is meant by habitat? Answer of this question is the natural home of an animal is called its habitat. Now second one question is what are terrestrial animals? Animals that live on land are called terrestrial animals. Third what are amphibians? Answer of this question is animals that live both on land and in water are called amphibians. Fourth question is what are omnivorous? Question, uh, answer of this question is animals that eat both plants and flesh of other animals are called omnivorous. Now D part is give reasons for the following. Here first one is it is easy for a fish to escape from enemies. Hamne reason dena hai iska. कि जो फिश के लिए बहुत ही इजी कैसे रहता है अपने एनिमीज से बचना आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज द फिश लार्जर साइज एंड इरेक्ट स्पाइंस मे डिस्करेज एन एनिमी यानी कि मछली का जो बड़ा आकार होता है या इसकी सीधी रीढ़ जो होती है वो दुश्मन को काफी आसानी से चकमा दे सकती है धोखा दे सकती है सेकंड वन इज इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू स्पोर्ट अ स्टिक इंसेक्ट Answer of this question is thanks to one of the most effective conflict system on the planet. Even a determined and sharp eyed predator would have difficulty sporting the stick insect in the wild. Their conflict system sometimes makes them look like walking plants. इसका मतलब ये है कि stick insect अपने आप को किस तरह से बचाते हैं Stick insect अपने आप को बचाने के लिए कॉन्फ्लिक्स सिस्टम का यूज़ करते हैं तो प्लेनेट में कॉन्फ्लिक्स सिस्टम के लिए थैंक्स किया जा रहा है क्योंकि इसी की वजह से जो स्टिक इंसेक्ट है अपने आप को बचाते हैं बड़े से बड़ा कोई शिकारी है वो भी इन्हें इतनी आसानी से नहीं पकड़ सकता है कॉन्फ्लिक्स सिस्टम के कारण हमें दिखने में ये ऐसे लगते हैं कि जैसे कोई चलने वाला पौधा है मतलब इनकी आकृति इस तरह की हो जाती है जिस तरह से कोई पौधे की होती है है ना इस तरह से ये अपने आप को बचा लेते हैं यहाँ पर कॉन्फ्लिक्स सिस्टम मैं किसको बोल रही हूँ कॉन्फ्लिक्स सिस्टम का मतलब ये होता है 
कि जो चीज़ जैसी है वैसी नहीं दिख रही धोखे से हमें वो जैसी दिखाई जा रही है हम वैसे ही देख रहे हैं यानी सही बात या वास्तविक बात को छिपाना इसे ही कॉन्फ्लिक्स सिस्टम बोला जाता है ठीक है उम्मीद है आपको आज की ये वीडियो पसंद आई होगी आगे की वीडियोस की अपडेट्स पाने के लिए भी अभी चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर दीजिए थैंक यू सो मच बाय बाय